a lot went into it. You know, after the whole thing with Florida, I felt like there were kind of a lot of unknowns, and um, I was kind of ready for a different challenge. And you know, I was really wanting to go stay closer to home. Um, you know, and I've been recruited by Purdue ever since I was in eighth grade, so I knew a lot about them. I was really familiar with their coaching staff and kind of the um, players that they recruit. And so, because I'm because I was so familiar with all of them. Um, I knew that it was going to be a really special place for me to go to and then I went on my unofficial visit um, a couple of weeks ago and I just fell in love with it even more. Um, I just feel like there's so many different opportunities there for, um, for me and for the team and um, I just feel like it's a place where you can go in championships at. I mean they have a lot of history going for them and um, seeing that the surge that they made at the end of the season this year, um, it showed that there's a really bright future for Purdue and um, I want to be a part of that. So. You had to decommit for Florida. How difficult was that to, I mean, you committed yeah. to them, but how difficult was that for you? It was a difficult process. I mean, communicating with them and then meeting um, Coach Cam, um, which I already kind of had a relationship with him before. And so, I mean, he was really understanding, and I'm super proud of him for, you know, making that next step in his career um, coaching at Florida. And so, I mean, it was a really tough process. I didn't know I was going to have to go through it a second time around. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I think God was just kind of leading me elsewhere. And so I'm super excited for all the opportunities that I have ahead of me at Purdue. Were you more experienced in that second go around kind of recruiting trail? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Going through it once and experiencing all those different things, I think the second time around, I actually knew kind of more what I wanted and um, what I was more directed to. And Purdue had all those exact things that I really wanted. Um, you know, I think it's a family place where I want to go and I want to surround myself with um, all those wonderful people who were groom me to be the person I hope to be one day and um, will always motivate me and push me um, to never stop and just keep going and looking forward. And so uh, I'm really excited uh, to play under Coach Versa. I mean, she's a legendary coach, a legendary player, person. Um, she's just the overall great package and as well as the coaching staff. I mean, I feel like they're all we're really loyal to Purdue University, um, and you know I think it's a really bright future for them. I was going to ask you about because you were obviously recruited by Purdue mm -hmm. very early on. Mm -hmm. How much of an advantage was it to stay close to home? A big advantage. <laughs> uh, I definitely think staying in home is a huge advantage. Um, knowing, I mean, you get a lot of love from all those in-state people. Um, you know, local people just super excited that you can finally come watch. And, um, you know, I've talked to Biggie a couple of times, and it's just he says you get a lot of love and produce everything that you could possibly want in a college. And um, especially, I think, we're in familiar um, places where um, going in state and then leaving Homestead, I mean, we're kind of leaving that Homestead legacy on and um, trying to keep it on to going to Purdue. Um, so I think it's super exciting and knowing that my siblings and my family are only an hour and a half away and they can come watch me play now. Um, still having that McLaughlin clan up there in the crowd is super exciting. So it's definitely a lot, a lot of fun. Did Biggie text you or something? Yeah, he call, I called him and I was like, hey, I'm going to be a Boilermaker. And he was like, that's what's up. Like, he's like, you're going to love it. And so I talked to him before I like, committed and he was like, yeah, this is definitely the place for you. Um, he's like, you're going to love it. It has everything that you need. And so knowing that kind of had him as kind of a role model and um, a mentor for me to, you know, consider my options. I mean, he it was all the green lights for me to go there. So yeah, it's kind of funny that he kind of recruited you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was going to ask you about. Oh, obviously, the Big Ten and basketball is your, uh, your what you're going there. For. Mm -hmm. But what was the other side of it for you? Mm -hmm. How big of an advantage was that? Yeah, especially on my last visit, I was able to meet with a lot of um, different professors and talking to um, the business program because I do look, I'm looking forward to going to the business and sports marketing and management. So, I mean, that was definitely a huge part. And I think there's a lot of different opportunities in that aspect as well. Um, I think there'll be a lot of um, after school opportunities career wise where I'll have a lot of different connections and um, staying close into home, I could, you know, explore many different options in that realm as well. So. Yeah. Uh, were there any other options other than when you decommitted? Were, mm -hmm. Was Purdue the only one, or were there other ones that there were, you were looking into? Yeah, there were other options. Um, when I opened it up, I mean, I got a lot of phone calls, but I kind of I wanted to keep it narrowed down, and I already had an idea that it was going to be Michigan, Purdue, and IU, sure. um, and then Florida, and then um, I made my visit to Flo or to Purdue, and I just I just knew like after talking with everyone, I mean, everyone was just amazing. Um, it really helped me a lot through the process, but I just knew that was the place that I really 
my heart was going towards and so I just I just knew that was where I wanted to be and um, you know in Florida was really really respectful and um, I really appreciate them helping me through this process and you know guiding me along the way and so it was it was meant to be but and uh, the SEC did uh, pretty well this year mm -hmm. what's it about the Big Ten that, that intrigued you so much mm -hmm. well first of all growing up around the Big Ten I mean it's a huge factor um, I've watched it my whole life. Uh, I've been to so many different Big Ten championships. I've seen the women's win their Big Ten championships. So, I mean, it's a part of all of our lives around Indiana. And so knowing that I'm going into that and going to be playing on TV in front of all my friends and family. And um, so Big Ten is a huge conference. It's a competitive conference. And that's exactly what I want to go into um, just, go, just because of my competitive personality. Um, so I'm super excited for that as well. In, in four years' time, four or five years' time, mm -hmm. or whatever, four years or five years' time, where do you see yourself? Uh, after college, well, I just, just, just at, at the, the end yeah. of college. Where, what do you mm -hmm. kind of want? What's your? What do you want to do to in do. college? Okay. In Purdue. In college, um, I want to win championships. You sure. know, I want to um, help my team as much as possible. I'm going to dedicate myself to my teammates, my coaches, to Purdue, to give them all I got for us, our program, to be successful. Um, you know, and Coach Versa, we've talked about, we just don't want to make it to the NCAA tournament. We want to win Big Ten championships. We want to make it to Elite Eights, the Final Fours. I mean, we really want to stretch this program as far as possible um, to make it as great and enjoyable experience as possible in these next four years. And um, I definitely think if that all that happens, um, many different opportunities will um, occur after college as well. And to do that, you, your game needs to progress. What mm -hmm. do you potentially see in your game that you need to get better at that, that mm -hmm. you can refine? Yeah. Um, fortunately, this past year, I was able to kind of run the point guard a little bit. Yeah. So I think I need to continue to work on that aspect of my game and um, figuring out different ways how I can set up the offense and how I can um, find different people and just c continuing to make other people in the offense great and just like make other people better. Um, and I think if we continue to do that and just do it, whatever Coach Versa needs me to do, um, I'm willing to do and just do everything for, for them. So. All right. And you've done this media-wise. Mm -hmm. Very well spoken. Thank you. you. Uh, do all that stuff. You have the pee on your chest now. Does it feel like real? I mean, you, you're just so, <laughs> like, again, after the national chip, after the state title game, you're so composed. Uh -huh. D does the emotion ever really get to you, <laughs> knowing that, hey, I'm, I'm – Decommitted from someplace and going to someplace, and I'm just out. Mm -hmm. Does it? Oh, it I mean, does. does it emotionally wise, does it? Does it hit yeah. you? Or is that just you? Um, it does. It does hit me emotionally. I mean, when I committed there, um, and I told Coach Versa face to face that I was going to go there. Um, I mean, I just wanted to start crying. It's just like a really emotional experience. But you know, it's the next step in my in my career, and I'm super excited about it. And um, you know, I'm just all I can do is smile and <laughs> enjoy the moment because. Um, I just know what's ahead of me, and you know, I'm just super excited to be re representing Purdue University and boil her up. <laughs>